Ever since I was young, I have been overprotected by my parents and everyone around me. I think it started because when I was a kid, I used to get bullied a lot. In kindergarten, um, we were talking about Power Rangers and everyone was discussing their favorite color. And I said yellow. And boys weren't supposed to like yellow or pink. They were supposed to like the red one, the blue one. So I said yellow and they said, you're fag, this and that. And they were in kindergarten, imagine. I guess they just felt scared for me. And since I'm the only child, they don't want to lose me. So I guess that's why they just feel they have to protect me so much. See, she loves me. Now that I'm approaching my 18th birthday and my high school graduation, now my chest changed. They're not giving you any freedom. They're not giving you any, uh, you can't have friends, you can't go anywhere, and it's making you miserable. Sometimes I feel like the president's son. Do I really need all of this protection? Que porque tú me sobre protege tanto. Do you think they're gonna get over it? Never. Oh my lord. That wasn't a good question. Oh my god. What should I do? I don't know. I think you're about to be 18 years old and they're too much. Do it the way I did it. What time do you usually get home? I'm always home. What? When you're from school or when are we... F1? F1? Alright, so... Every week, add 15 minutes to it. Until they don't care anymore. Okay, so padre era un sobreprotector. Ah? Yes. Es verdad, dime cómo. Tampoco lo he preguntado porque salieron mucho. ¿Y por eso tú me lo estás haciendo más? No. ¿Y por qué tú me, lo, tú me lo haces si tu mamá no te lo hizo a ti, mamá? Sí. Porque da la casualidad que ella tenía seis muchachos y yo solamente tengo uno. Y si no te gusta, como yo estoy hablando, yo hablo así, está de más que tú te pongas como tú te estás poniendo. I'm about to go to college and my family has felt the need to protect me even more. The question now is, protect me from what? Do not look sexy. Look at me. I'm your kid. Like, you're supposed to support me no matter what. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> They're trying to figure out how can they accept me, and I'm trying to figure out why they don't accept me. Seventeen Magazine. The best magazine ever. Like many teens, all I want to do is have fun and rebel. Look what I have in my hand. It's a Cosmo. <laughs> I am not drunk. <laughs> I love that they care so much about me. But God, enough is enough. I really want to learn from my mistakes. I really, really don't know what's wrong with society. I went to the Puerto Rican Day Parade today. I got so many mean looks. So many hateful words. I can't even describe it. I have learned that this world is a cruel place in which I have to fight for what I want or die trying. I transferred three times out of school, out of high school, and it was because of the same thing, harassment. I made it myself with head scarves. And I decided to drop out. When you know me better, then you could aim me. It was my decision to continue my education here at CUNY Prep, where I did in fact do extremely well. That emo thing got me crazy. It gave me a sense of safety I've never felt in my life before. I started meeting new people, and most of them were pretty much out there. And they told me to open up, and I decided to open up, and it's been the greatest ever since. When should I start my diet, Cassie? Oh God, not the incredible diet that I don't eat anything. I starve myself. I do not get, starve to myself. Get myself. Skinnier. How rude. Well, yeah. It's gonna look like Paris Hilton on crack. That'll be great. But now look at me. I'm actually going to college. This is Lindsay Lohan and Chloe. 
Kardashian, inspired look. I want to finish college, be a great fashion designer, singing, dancing, acting. I just want to do everything. I want to be in a relationship. I just want to do everything.